Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Portsmouth. Um, as I said before in the last episode, what I was going to do is I'm going to play a few games and get to grips with the team and the players and stuff. And <clears throat> then I was going to come back and play some games for you. So if we go to schedule, um, I took over here. So it's been a bit of a mixed bag. 3-3 um, three, three draw against Stoke. Uh, Mika Bireth got three goals. He should have had four and won it. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Um, and then we had a game against Bristol Rovers, the other team that we were going to go and manage. And oh, squeaky bum time. Uh, Colby Bishop got two and we scored in the 88th minute to equalise. Then we went to Burton and pretty much dominated them. Bireth again, Scully with two goals. And then Cambridge, unfortunately, we lost and Mika Bireth got injured. Um, obviously, you know, I haven't really introduced the squad much, but there are a few players. I've definitely realised we need a left back because... Ogilvy, that's how we say his name, um, he's okay, and it does say he's pretty good, but I'm a bit unsure of him at the moment. Uh, Centre-backs, I'm unsure of them as well. Um, further forward, we have we need an attacking midfielder, because we just have people just slotting in just to play there at the moment. Um, I know it does look... Right, you take him out. We have we only have three wingers. I didn't want to play wingers because it's not really the tactic. I mean, we have Jack Sparkles as Sparkles, Sparks as well, but he's not very good. But the two main men that have impressed me are Bishop and Bereth. Um, you know, you just you, he's really good for this level. Uh, he scores goals. He's only 21 as well. So, you know, maybe they can improve. Fingers crossed. Um, uh, Colby Bishop as well. Oh, for some reason, done that. Uh, Colby Bishop, I mean, he's getting on a bit. But he's playing very well for us. Another thing we definitely need is another striker. Just as a third option. Because we do have someone called Scully who's playing there today. But... I don't know. I'm unsure of him at the moment. But yeah, um, I've padded out my staff. We're pretty much fully staffed up. We're just dealing with sports scientists. Um, I also, we didn't have an under 21s. So I asked them if we could have an under 21s squad, and they said yes. So I've got a ton. Some of these players are players that are what's his name? from the first team like need some fitness but we've got loads of trials I've put them all on four week trials so we can whittle them down and then just sign the ones that have looked like they've got the best potential um, but yeah today we are going to be playing Peterborough United so let's jump straight into that um, I've been playing this diamond shape and it has been hit and miss so don't know whether I'm going to keep it yet or not, but <clears throat> it seems to be doing quite well so far. Um, I can't wait for January because we need some reinforcements and we need to get rid of some players. Uh, we've had to pull up a striker from the from the uh, under 18s as well because we we I mean we have four strikers. Now we have three strikers, so when one goes down, you've only got two and you're playing two up top. It's a bit difficult. Uh, but yeah, uh, we have to win our home game, no excuses. Oh no, sorry, this is the team. Uh, we've got Uluwaim, Uluwayemi in goal, Rafferty. Taula, Paul and Ogilvy. Ogilvy. 
Uh, Sean C just ahead. Morel and Pack in front of him. Gavin White in attacking midfield. Scully up top and Bishop as well. So, yeah. Let's jump in. I've just realised I think I, can, I could have had seven subs, but oh well. So, let's get into the game. Uh, just, uh, let's just do key highlights. We don't need loads of highlights, do we? Straight through to the keeper. Not many people in the stadium. Ooh. Sorry. Bring it forward with Shaughnessy. Pack. Good ball to Scully. Scully wide to Bishop. Oh, Bishop turns. Oh, tackled, but Morale's there to pick it back up. Oh. 1 0 Portsmouth. Great goal from Morale. What? F 4 minutes 15 in. Great start. Yeah, unfortunately, we are out of the FA Cup and the trophy. The trophy thing. For the lower leagues, which is, is unfortunate, because... Oh, good save. Oh. 1-1 one, one one, one Peterborough score. I feel a bit there for the goalkeeper. Because it's just nodded over, and... Oh, does that hit the bar? Like, I don't know what... See, our defence, we definitely need a new defence. Oh, Bishop through the middle. Oh, Bishop pulls it up, Bishop. Oh, bit ambitious, but... Why not? Yeah, as I've said in other videos, this was meant to be a lower league save, but, you know, when you've got, like, we had Reading, Portsmouth... Bristol Rovers giving us interviews. I even got an interview for West Brom. I mean, I don't think of, don't think of. I think I gave myself a B license, and I said I was like a national, known like in the nation, not like international or anything. But everyone seemed to want me as a manager. Oof. I just I just realised why what are we playing with a yellow ball? There's no snow. And that's the first half over. Bit of a dull one to be fair. I'm not happy with the performance. I think we need to do better. Give them a bit of encouragement again and off we go. That's the thing though, when you're not the height lights down to key, there's not very many There's not very many uh highlights really, is there? I mean this is looking like a decent highlight though. Ugh. Bishop oh, Scully, that's a penalty. Yeah. And Scully is our penalty taker. Good conversion there. <laughs> Who's doing the carton dance? <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy with that. Uh, highlights. I think I want to do behind the goal. I think you get to see the goal scored a bit better. Harden, will it? Oh, Wilkes even. Wilkes over the top. We need to get back. Jesus Christ. What was that? Mason Clark just ran through us. Way offside. No, no replay. Don't know why it was offside. I guess from the shot, as my keeper saved it, he must have been offside. Just think about it, it's weird because 
okay, if I'm standing offside, but I'm not interfering with play, and someone takes a shot and the keeper saves it, technically that is... The ball's come off... Oh, Scully. Technically, the the ball has come off their player. So how come the goalkeeper doesn't count? Because if any palms it to the side and then I slot it in, but I'm offside because the initial shot, I was offside. Even though I wasn't interfering with plant, I didn't get the ball. It's weird. Great turn by Morale into White. White going wide. Good ball in. Ugh. And now Peterborough are on the counter. Pfft. That was a terrible shot. A few tired legs, so I think 75 minutes is a good time to uh, Rafferty's knackered. Um, what's who's he? But I haven't got a. I haven't got a left-sided player that can... Might as well give him a run-out for... Bishop. Two more subs. Give Pack a rest for Devlin. We've got anyone that can play left-back. So if I've been ragging... And Towler can go out. I shouldn't have made five, all five subs, should I really? That was a bit. I like, hope that don't come back to bite me. Oh, white, play through white. That was selfish, that was. I don't know who that was, but he had someone ahead of him. And he could have just slotted him in. That's a great highlight. Oof, good save. We need to hold on. Ah, that's rubbish. As time ticks away, looking like a 2 1 victory. And there we go. Nice 2 1 win. So, yeah, first, first live game of the series, and we get a very good victory there. Very impressed. Don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I'd, I'd have been annoyed if I'd have had to redo that game. So yeah, that was the first game. Um, oh, are they? Well, to be fair, I can rest them for the next game. They could go on the bench. Uh, next game is Burton in seven days, so I shall be back in a minute. Hello, just wanted to quickly jump back because we've got an FA Cup draw. Um, so hopefully we can get a favourable draw because if you look at our finances, we don't really need a big draw for money. Um, so hopefully we just need to progress. That's the name of the game. And all the big guns are in. So hopefully... Arsenal have gone, Villa have gone, Chelsea have gone. Liverpool have gone. Oopsie, if I went, it'd have gone to Reading, I probably would have got Liverpool. Man United have gone. Newcastle have gone, Wolves... Are we ever going to get picked? There we are. We've got Gillingham or Oldham, which 
I think are winnable games for us. So, yeah, I'm just going to skip ahead to the Burton game now, and I shall see you guys in a second. Well, that took longer than expected. Um, <laughs> I got caught making... What's his name? Uh, signings for staff for my under 21s, which now is slowly filling up. Um, the under 21s manager is Dwight Gale. Um, yeah, I'm slowly padding it out. Just uh, an assistant manager and a coach for the under 21s. But that's not why we're here. We're here for Portsmouth versus Brighton. Um, Regan Paul will have to come out because basically he accumulated too many yellow cards. That's the one. Um, so, if we kind of better put row in, because he can, I think it's him, yeah, we can play both sides, so, we've got Zach Swanson who can play in the middle, well, I thought he could, ah oh, well, <laughs> um, so yeah, I've noticed that I've been playing white. Who else can play in that position? I guess put Paddy Lane in there instead. Uh, yeah, we definitely need some. Uh, yeah, I think we'll. We haven't got enough central defenders to rotate properly either. Sam Ragger, I just brought Ragger out. I did bring Ragger out then, didn't I? I didn't. I thought Ragger was my right back. Need to learn their names really, don't I? Um, let's get out there and win. And we kick off. 13th at the moment. We have been dropping down, but a wing can send us back up to maybe ninth. So hopefully we can get a pick up a win. The points wise it's very tight. Oh, that was crap. Yeah points wise the league is very tight at the moment so no like the top teams haven't pulled away and the lower teams haven't fell off. So we just need to Oh, go on, Scully. Scully turns. Ah, that was crap. You did a better finish there. I feel like make a few transfers, get a bit of money in, and maybe look at January getting a maybe one or two, maybe three players in. Hopefully, like de a decent level. Um, for next episode, there will be a new under-21s team, because a lot of their trials end on the 15th of December, so which is very soon. So hopefully I'll have some more transfers for you for the beginning of January, and then obviously we'll... Scully was off. I was just offside. Yeah, hopefully I'll have some uh, signings for you. Um, I'm, I might go through them. 
don't know yet. But then, like, obviously over January, there'll be a transfer special. I'll probably come back for around the beginning. Ooh. Maybe again for around the beginning of January. Maybe just after. And then come back at the end of January for any transfers. But I'm not Sophie. I'm not seeing many transfers be made, but we'll see. This game's fun, isn't it? Both teams have just been poor. So let's look at shaking things up. Uh, Shaughnessy. Raggett is dying. So if I do that. And then bring in Rafferty. Over on that left hand side. Um, up front. Both have been rubbish. But Morale well, There we go Colby looks like I've seen Like Scully's actually had highlights So That's what I'm basing my decision off Oh Just over I seem to have a lot of players in our box. <sighs> but look, they had a lot of players. I mean, he's just, he's just left. And by the time they get over to him, it's too late. See, that's when we've got no game-changing players on the bench. If we lose 2-0, it ain't going to be any worse than losing Come on, lads. At least get the point. There might be a... a chance here. Oh, come on, that's it. Bomb down the left, whip it in. Oh, right into the keeper's arms. That's the thing, when you loft the ball in, the keeper's got a chance to come and get it. You need to whip it in. Especially when you're that far out. <laughs> that was lucky. Oh no, Marlon Pack is being played out of position. Come on, ref, hurry him up. How long does he need to take? Oh, 
Great take from Alu Uemi. What a poor game. Not one above seven. They had a couple, but they weren't in exact weren't exactly any better. We should have won that. And we're fifteenth. See, we're three points off the bottom. Between you look between Burton, who are twenty first, and Stoke is six points. And it's just, even Rotherham aren't running away with it. It's like the whole league. I mean, apart from like Forest Green, maybe Wickham. You could maybe lump Stevenage in, but from twenty first all the all the way up to sixth is six points. Nine points to fifth. You get on a bit of a run and you can shoot up the league if the other teams aren't playing as well. Yeah, I know we've got fitness concerns, but you can have fitness concerns all you like. If I ain't got the players, who am I going to bring in? Um, so, yeah, next time. Uh, I think we'll... I think we'll come back for the Shrewsbury... Oh, no, actually. The Gillingham Forest Green. Because... Hopefully we can carry on our FA Cup run. I like a good FA Cup. Or Carabao Cup. Um, episode and then we've got Forest Green who if you look at the league as we just mentioned are rock bottom with 13 points so should be a a game that we can win but yeah so that's when we'll next come back uh, for the Gillingham game on the 4th and then the Forest Green game so hopefully um Mm. end of December so 7, 8, 9, 10 10 games he's, 10, 10 days he's been out for so hopefully he should be coming back soon and gone I thought it said 4 to 6 weeks for him I expect it to be out between 8 days and 2 weeks we need him back because we need the goals I don't know why I press continue Um, but yeah anyway if you have enjoyed this episode, then please leave me a like, um, comment as well. That's always helpful. I'm just going to change this to the league table. Uh, yeah. Um, subscribe, which is the most important thing. Go and watch all my other videos. Go over to my Twitch channel as well, because I stream on Twitch. Party D get 87. Uh, go and follow me on there. And yeah, that's it. And I shall catch you guys again next time. Have a good day, have a good afternoon, have a good evening, or have a good night. And I shall see you guys again next time. See you later.